Hey there YouTube, this is Parking 2 Shockwave and today we'll be doing a box open. This time we'll be opening up the new um, set, Next Challenger. Next Challenger is very anticipated for uh, everyone out there just because it has the new archetype that solely evolved with their Pendulum Summon as well as the new support for Burning Abyss. A new archetype they call the Furnimos or the uh, Fluffles. We also be getting new support for the UA monsters. UA monsters seems like to me they're gonna be the new Noble Knights for the tier TG. Just because like we're getting slowly getting a uh, few of the support cards for it for each set. So maybe by two years we're gonna get the special edition that will just like complete the set in general. Other than that, let's start with the uh, box over here. All right, so the rest of the video, I'll be doing commentary doing the mic. It didn't seem like the audio was working throughout this part of the video. So what I'm excited for this new set is not really much. It's I'm not really excited to the football. I think that it's, um, it's overhyped, but then again, I can see it uh, just because it's going to be top tier. There's no doubt about it. It's obvious that uh, when Konami are making this new mechanic, for the game, the office is gonna make the, the first archive that's based on it uh, OP. Uh, they did it for Dino Rab when it comes to Rescue Rabbit. So. And off the bat, I already got the uh, new Shadal Fusion, and it's the best one out of the two. Glad to see that it's an OT. But overall, I'm not very excited to get any of the new cards. You know, I just bought the box just for the sake of it. But if I was able to get the money cards like the new Dante or the quote Paul disc then I'm pretty happy with it. Earlier today I was actually checking out the price of those two cards and I see that the Virgil card is basically $60 and the disc is almost close to 70 and which I was like damn I know they're both secret rare but fuck. And you need to collect three of them so you're basically spending over $200 for a whole set of disc. Which I believe is one of the reasons why I didn't want to collect the archetype itself because I know it's going to be too expensive for me to actually uh, collect everything and I didn't want to feel like fighting everyone at my locals of getting collecting all the cards. So I just pulled off the new Hero Perfection card and I'm very excited to see this card in play. I hope someone in my locals is going to be playing it. But then again, I've been hearing that a lot of people are hoarding up all the ritual support. Especially, her well not Hero Perfection, but the uh, Preparation of Rite, the spell cards that allows you to add a Ritual Monster and Ritual Spell from your graveyard, or from your deck, it's one of the two. And I heard that it's like cl going close to $30 because of the upcoming Necloth support. And speaking of Necloth, I actually put out one of the new Hero of Light Sacred Monster which a lot of the cop players are using to uh, play with the ritual spell cards so they can get out the uh, level 4 ritual. While I have the time, let me give you some updates of the uh, what's going on in the next couple weeks. Uh, somewhere around this weekend, I will have the sneak peek match. If you guys are new to the channel, sneak peek match is something that uh, this channel does when every time a new set comes out during sneak peek. We usually choose two of the new archetype, battle against each other, and it's for us to let you guys know what these um, decks are capable of. This time we have the Fright First versus the new archetype, the UAs, the Ultra Athletes. So stay tuned for that. I'm pretty sure Dominguez is very excited to play that new archetype. Ultra Athletes are based off like baseballs, which is Dominguez's uh, favorite sport. Before we run out of time, I want to mention that we are doing the God deck profile. Uh, it's going to come out pretty soon. I'm hoping next week. Uh, it's just that it's a little bit hard to get everyone together to do the deck profile. But other than that, here's my total result for the one box that I bought. The only disappointing card I didn't want from that whole um, collection there is that Seed Monster. As you can see, my secret from the box is actually the new song card. I'm not very disappointed in getting it. I actually I'm glad that it's going to be part of my collection now. Hopefully someday someone's going to use it and like it's going to gain popularity all of a sudden. If you guys are interested in what I pull, uh, leave a comment down below or message me. I'll try my best to reply as fast as possible. Other than that, this is Parking Team Shockwave, signing out.